If you're sitting in the lounge room and it's winter, this dish is perfect, it's a fish pie. If you sit in the lounge room and it's summer, this dish is great because it's a fish pie. It does, you know, eat it whenever you want. So what we do as a start is we want three quarters of a cup of milk. I'm gonna give it a little pinch of salt, just a little, little dab of pepper. I've got some beautiful uh, tarragon. Got a lovely piece of gurnard. This is one of my favorite fish. It's actually ocean trout. Cover. And now I'm gonna basically put this in the oven 180 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes and the fish is just gonna poach very, very gently. Step one, fish pie. All right, step two, potatoes. Okay, you all know how to make mashed potatoes. This goes on the top of the pie. Peel your potatoes, quarter them into a pot with cold water, a little bit of salt on the stove, bring to the boil. And you know, don't boil them too hard. I turn them down a little bit uh, and don't overcook them because they'll go all, all watery. And once they're um, lovely and cooked, you drain them off and mash them. I'll show you that in a minute. Step three, cut the veg. So we're just gonna get carrot, celery and a bit of leek. Bits of um, green and orange and... All right, that's done. Peel your carrot. So these are flavourings. They're also colourings. I mean, you know, when the, you cut the pie and look at it, you've got these lovely bits of um, green and orange. And I just find when you're doing this stuff, I actually, I enjoy it. It's, it's kind of therapeutic or meditative or whatever. So sometimes it doesn't have to be perfect ice. It doesn't have to be, you know, looking absolutely brilliant all the time. It's all about the flavour. Celery, here's a trick for you. If you ever have celery, you get that stringy stuff, you know, from the celery when you're eating it, it gets stuck in your mouth and I really dislike it. Just peel this part of the celery. Some people might kill you for um, taking some of the nutrients out, but I just peel that top bit where the stringy stuff is, celery without the string. And the same thing, we're just gonna dice that. Veg is done, bit of olive oil in a fry pan. I'm gonna fry that up and I've got about eight scallops, eight prawns, um, you know, this pie is gonna feed two or three people. Be delicious, the more seafood the better I reckon. Let's go to the stove. All right, fish still uh, poaching in the oven, potatoes on and uh, almost coming up to the boil. We've got our pan here on uh, some heat Put some olive oil in. That's hot. Now look at that, see, look at that, beautiful. All those lovely colours in there. So we're just gonna cook this down a bit. It already smells delicious. I mean, how can it be, you know, it's, it's just so simple. Three flavours into a little bit of olive oil in a pan. It looks great and it smells fantastic. And that's about as much as I want. It's, that's easy. Because now I'm going to put in the sea, uh, the, or the, sorry, the scallops and the prawns. And I'm just going to par cook them. This is all building flavour. Try and keep it in the pan. The fish is poaching, that's creating some flavour. This lovely um, mix of veg and now having the, the prawns and the scallops in there, it's creating another set of flavours. And again, I'm not wanting to cook these completely. I am cooking them a bit, like the fish, so that when it goes in the pie, the flavours are already started to be released. And I don't necessarily need to cook everything um, in the pie. It just heats it all up and allows the flavours to combine. That's, that's the point. Beautiful. Oh, yes. I like my prawns cooked. Sometimes, you know, people undercook prawns, and I don't like that. I like them cooked so that they've got a slight meaty bite to them. Happy with that? Heat off at step one, step two, step three, now step four. Soft, falls apart, that's what you want. It's not overcooked, I'll be having cooked it too long, but as I said, it's not really gonna cook much more in the pie. Once we put this pie together, all the flavors will combine. So what I've got left here, milk, flavor, herbs, and I'm gonna add to that 
a very special ingredient. This is a fantastic beer, it's called La Chouf. It's, a, it's also, it's a farm, a French farmhouse style, sometimes uh, known as a saison. Can you hear the sound in the background? That's the potatoes cooking. I'm hearing that they're done. I don't know how to cook them. I might just go check, check them and uh, turn them off. All right, um, I've drained them and I'll just let them sit in the colander. I don't want them to sit in the water because they'll go soggy and that wouldn't be any good. So where was I? Three quarters of a cup into the roux. So I'm still getting the flavour I'm wanting. It's still gonna work. Three quarters of a cup, beautiful. We'll just add that into there. That'll foam up a bit. All right, see how flaky this is now? You just wanna pull it apart like that. Nice chunks, chunky fish pie. Nothing wrong with using your hands as long as you keep washing them, etc. And then with the ocean trout, we take the skin off because you you don't really want to um, have that in your pie. It's gelatinous and not really that nice, so that goes in the bin. But we've got all the flavour from it. There you go, done. Wash my hands, make the roux. First thing goes in the butter, so that's got to melt. So what I've done is I put 28 grams of butter and melted it down. And once it was nice and melted, I put 28 grams of flour. So when you're making a roux, you know, the basic idea is the same amount of flour to butter. Then, just give it a good stir. You don't want to burn it, but you do want to cook the flour out. See, see that? That's cooking. And when you stir it, it goes like that. And if you leave it, it cooks. All right, this is starting to color a bit. I'll turn the heat down. And now, I'm just slowly gonna add in the poaching liquor and the beer. See how nice and thick that is? And lastly, I'm gonna add just a squeeze of lemon. Fish and lemon, nice. I'm going to add a little bit of Dijon mustard. I'm going to put in just a bit of white pepper. Mm. I might put a touch more lemon juice and then I'm going to put some cheese in. And just let that heat through, let the cheese melt and we're done. All I need to do now is um, put all of this into the bowl mash the potatoes, put the potatoes over the top, a little bit of cheese in the oven until the um, potato kind of browns, the cheese browns, the pie will boil a bit so we know everything's just finishing off getting um, familiar. I like that, familiar with each other. All right. Damn, that's good. So, nice piece of butter goes in. A little bit of milk, not much, just just a little bit. You can, if you want, put a little bit of cream, not much. And of course, just a little bit of salt. I'm gonna be happy with that. So it's a personal thing, really. If you want it softer, you can add more butter and milk. Again, it's going on the top of the pie, cottage pie. Okay, so that beautiful fish goes in bit of juice with that. As I said, I've washed my hands and um, I'm just gonna give it a little stir like this so that you know it's mixed around. Next. And I'll just give this a little bit of a little bit of a mix. Last, and this is kind of sometimes a funny step, a tricky step, because you, you kind of want to put it on, but you kind of want to paint it. So you wanna seal the edges because what you're doing is you're locking all that flavour inside and under the potato and when it goes into a hot oven hopefully some of those peaks will crisp it's a, it's a little bit difficult just a little bit of cheese again to finish it off step six put it in the oven step seven eat it it's coloured up nicely I could have left it in longer but the fact is that the the sauce is bubbling up and over see how the sauce has come out and that's fine um, but that just means as well and it's done. You don't need to cook it any longer. I don't know what to do, folks. I could serve it on a plate. But first, the good news is, this recipe is in my book. Shameless plug. But if you want the recipe, buy the book. Or in fact, I'll put it on the website for you, okay? All right, I'm gonna tuck in. See you next time.